guys, welcome to Waste Thought Wednesday. We are live and we go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. And we show you, I was like, what time is it? Um, and we take junk that we turn into home decor that we either sell in our shop or online at our website, which is jamierayvintagehome.com, which subsequently is also where my shirt came from. So tell them what we're doing today, Zeb. So today we've got a bunch of old lamps. We're swimming in lamps. So we're gonna work on some of them and give them some quick makeovers. These should be pretty easy and straightforward. Going to be using some paint, some wax, might do some different colors on them, and we're going to be doing skeleton shades. And I'm taking this shirt out of inventory because I'm wearing a small, and I want to make sure that I don't sell it because I'm probably going to get paint on it at some point today. So as you're watching, we, we know skeleton shades aren't for everybody, so if you don't like that part, then uh, don't put an Edison bulb in it and just leave the shade on. But this is... This frilly stuff is just so, asking for someone's cat to attack. At the it. very least, if you didn't want a skeleton shade, you got to give this lampshade a haircut because there is a situation happening with that lampshade. Um, I'm going to pull up comments here. If you're new to our channel and you love make Boom. makeovers, make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We have DIYs that are edited as well as our lives that we do on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So. All right, so I'm just the adjusting thing. the harp. It was pretty bent. Could have been from us transporting it from the thrift store. We got these lamps, $4.99 each. And when we're done with them, we'll probably sell them for somewhere around, what, like $20 a piece? I don't know. So this is, this is what the lamp looks like, and this is the fun shade that comes with it. So when I do sell them, if I sell them, if I ship them, I do not ship the light bulb. People can order their own and buy them locally. Light bulbs are a pain to ship. In the shop, I do put an Edison bulb. I do include it. I actually got a bunch given to me for free not too long ago. Somebody gave me a box of them. So I haven't, awesome. haven't had to buy any in a while. Um, and I bought these because I like the look. So I'm going to get started on our Waste on Wednesday here because we have like six lamps that I've been kicking around in the studio, and today is the day that they're getting finished. So this one's wobbly. I'm thinking Do they, some well, they tighten up. I think they're threaded. They seem oh, to be tightening up as I spin them around. Okay. Because there isn't a nut down on the bottom of these ones. Usually there will be a nut at the bottom, and you can just tighten that up, but this one does not have it. So I'm just using my, uh, is this the little Frenchie? Yep. Yeah. I'm using the little Frenchie because it gets down on all the details and I am using DIY White Swan, which is good because White Swan sticks to wood, metal, plastic, which a lot of lamps are usually made of all of those things. And they, these lamps are going to look, uh, in one hour, you'll see that they are going to completely transform the look just by painting them. I know a lot of y'all have lamps sitting around, you got paint and you maybe want to update them. This is just a really great way to do that and it's you know it's decor so if it gets a little chippy or if it's not quite a perfect paint job just wet distress and run with it and it'll look great um so i'm just showing you the harp here how it's all messed up and and i just like to bend i leave it on and then i just bend it over till it's centered on the light and that usually is all the more i need they might need to get a paint job these I don't not I don't think are original to this. Oh, the metal the is different. Yeah, the harp is gonna be gold once I take these shades off. And that won't match with the rest of it, I don't think. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. I'll paint that. Oops, I got paint take the on this. Bulb part. Out. If you ever get paint where you don't want it, just make sure you wipe it off before you seal it. Okay, I'm gonna go grab some scissors real quick because it looks like we didn't get those out. White lamps can't go wrong, yep. And I also have weathered wood. We're gonna be painting a glass lamp here in a little bit. I almost put it, because we get a lot of things donated to us. Um, a lot of people bring stuff by the shop that either they don't want to go to the thrift store or they can't get into it because right now thrift stores are limiting donations. So we've had a lot of things donated. And I have this glass one. I'm gonna paint that. And I'm gonna go, I think, weathered wood on that. Because a lot of people wouldn't think to paint that glass, but I think the way that it's cut, it'll be really pretty painted. So it's a oh, little shit. uneven. I might have to tighten this one up too. Okay. So a lot of times when you get lamps, especially old ones like this that have multiple pieces, there's usually something central running down. And so this has this felt on the bottom. And you can just peel this out. Let me see if I can get a hold of it. Yep. And so there's a nut right down here on the bottom. If you tighten this up, 
that'll fix most of the looseness because this is this is a separate piece and this is a separate piece and this is a separate piece and it all gets loose over time oh, i was gonna tell you guys so we often get asked like how much can you paint with a quart of paint Jean, who some of you guys might know as Jean Marie, she comments a lot. She works for me. She painted her front door and six of the shutters on her house with one quart of weathered wood, and she has about that much left over. It looks really good. She's going to get me a picture. She didn't like the one she took because I asked if I could share it on social. Um, she said she was going to clean up <laughs> she, her porch and she, take a new one. She took a, hey, look what I did picture, and then you're like, hey, can I share this? She's like, wait, wait. Wait a tick. Wait. All right, that's going down for a minute to dry. <laughs> All right, is this one ready? That one's ready. That one's all tightened up. Okay. Okay, so off comes the frilliness. And I'm just... The frilly situation. You can cut it off. I just... It, it ripped off easy enough. And then there's these little tabs up top. I'm going to cut those off with the scissors. You can also totally spray DIY paint on these. It'd be much faster. But spraying on live videos just isn't as exciting. So we have a, our very first video we did. We, oh, gosh. You know, we spray painted a lamp in the kitchen. We've since amended our ways from doing we that. We get a lot of comments the about it. The reason we did it in the kitchen is because it was really windy outside. It was and, our first video. And we are like, wow, that's really loud. So we just, no one could hear Jamie talking. It was so, like five years ago. So we just did it in the kitchen, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. The windows were open. It was all right. No one died. Um, but we don't recommend it. Nobody was injured in we the filming. Don't of that recommend video. it. But anyway, what I want to, what the reason I went that roundabout way to tell you about our very first video um, is because we painted lampshades in that video, and you can use DIY paint just like she's using. Water that down; it paints fabric so well. So if you have a lampshade that's in good shape and you like it, and you don't like the skeleton shade version that we're going to be doing today. Paint that lampshade up, make it match your decor, it'll be great. Yeah, and then just seal it with liquid patina. It might be a little bit crunchy, but you can sand it. And it's not like you're gonna be sitting on it. So if the fabric's a little crunchy, as long as the paint holds, then it looks a lot better. Sometimes lampshades just get dirty over time. Oh, Jessica said she was watching and didn't even realize we were live. I guess that means that our live videos are, uh, we're getting better at it. I don't know. <laughs> Not really sure what You that know means. it's live when I wander off and go get stuff, because in an edited video, I would cut that out. <laughs> so, I don't know if that says our live videos are good or our edited videos are bad. I don't know. Right now, you guys, we totally appreciate you guys watching and dealing with, uh, some of what we're doing, I'm doing kind of faster edits on the edited videos because we're just, it's crunch time on the farmhouse and we're, we're all hands on deck trying to get that thing done right now. It's like, what we, it's what we call down and dirty editing. We get it done as good as possible. So if you watch one of our edited videos and you're like, hmm, that's not as good as it normally is. Mike, that's... if you hear the kids yelling in the background, I'm not going to bother taking that stuff out. <laughs> not for the next few weeks as we get that farmhouse finished. And hopefully today. we'll be back to normal. If you don't, a lot of the videos will be farmhouse videos because that's what we're doing. But we're doing fun stuff like painting vanities. Right now we're working on kitchen cabinets, putting the kitchen in. Um, if that doesn't interest you, we will be back to furniture painting and doing tutorials on that once the house is livable if that doesn't interest you can we even be friends if you don't like demo <laughs> and farmhouse building i don't know okay so i've been over here ripping this off this one did not have the little trim it just has glue it's like a uh, fabric glue it was probably just attached to the fabric and we've got some remnants here if your glue doesn't come off good you can take a little heat gun to it um, and it'll slide right off you can use the scissors to scrape it off or something similar to that um, but usually a little, usually it's dry enough that you can just peel it right off Chiganique in big says chunks. I'm funny. <laughs> Don't bother with the editing. We just want to see the progress. Don't worry about it. We'll watch it all. Uh, Lisa says you guys could clean toilets and I'd watch it. <laughs> funny story. Well, thank you, Lisa. <laughs> I haven't cleaned a toilet in a hot minute. We've been so busy. The kids do it. My mom's in town. I know she's been cleaning stuff she's not supposed to but she's, she just cannot help herself she's she's one of those types of people where if she sees something that needs done she just does it and she doesn't wait to be asked or told and we've been telling her not to like, like the listen. kids will get to it eventually <laughs> and we're not as picky as we used to be because you know if they clean it, it's better than us because we're not cleaning it at all so i'm lucky if i can get to bed at night and pass out <laughs> i have been known to clean the shower at midnight when i get home from working at the farmhouse i'm like yeah that's gross all right, can you pass me that glass? But something now? exciting, we are hanging trusses today over there. Harrington's getting the uh, 
the layout set up for me. We, I, I thought got him Harrington the was turning uh, tray feet right Well, now. before he was turning tray feet for the website, he was doing that. <laughs> yeah, Harrington, Harrington works for us and does many He's things. making sure all the top plates are down and secure and that we didn't miss any nails or anything before we set the trusses down on there. All right, that's clean. And that is the way we'll leave it. Although the, maybe that was gold on the heart because this is gold up here up top. Could have been part of their look. Well, they mix metals. Painted now. Mixed metal is a thing, right? Jan Stoss says that's my mom. She's 84 and like the ever ready bunny. Yeah, my mom's 81. And my dad's like, when do I get back to the farmhouse? I'm like, dad, we're working on trusses and sheeting. So you can come on Friday when we get back to the kitchen because I'm kind of at a standstill until I have some Zeb assistance. I can do a lot of things, but I need, I have this part in the middle that we're going to be modifying some table legs for and I just really need to help. You know, your dad's a great electrician and as soon as I get that roof on that thing, that is going in next, so. So I'm using weathered wood and I realize that it currently just looks like poop, but I promise you that it will not look like poop when we're done. It's kind of gray, it doesn't look like poop. Oh, in real life, <laughs> it looks a little bit like poop. Am I not supposed to say poop on camera? No, I'm just, I don't think it looks we don't, like that. We don't have an extra heart for this, do we? Let's just um, that way. This was given to us. We have all those ones. Yeah, I don't think we... We might have one in the basement. I can run take a look. Okay, because we have extra lampshades, so, but this one will just need a heart. We might have to steal from a different lamp. Yeah. We have a lot of lamps. We have that brass lamp over there. Does that have a heart on it? Um, no, the brass one doesn't. Are we going to be painting that one or doing anything with that? I think well, painting I was a going brass to... would be cool. Uh, if we need the harp to finish this one, we might just it have to candlelight it. It doesn't have a harp. I'm looking at it right now. If you watched Saturday night's thrift haul video, you'll know what we're talking about. I'll show you in a minute, but currently deconstructing this lampshade. You are doing an excellent job. Deconstructed uh, lampshades really go well with like the new kind of modern industrial vibe that's coming well, in. Well, I love deconstructed chairs. In fact, if it ever gets here, I have a deconstructed couch coming for the farmhouse. I was going to do one myself because I do know how to upholster, but even right now my hands are going numb, so I just don't think my hands are ready for a couch. They're not, they're not After ready building the house, I just can't refurnish it myself all the way either. <laughs> so yeah we'll have lots of videos coming up on like decorating the house and putting the furniture where it goes we're keeping some things some things we're selling and getting rid of so i'm gonna leave i think this gold i'm painting this now this looks weird but when it dries i'll put a second coat and we'll white wax it and it will no longer look like weird i promise well i can't promise that because i've actually not done a lamp like this before yeah but we've done bases in my mind it looks good oops your cat fringe fell to the floor. That's okay. All right. Oh, super chat from Sally Bunswell. Thank Said you, love Sally. All the farmhouse videos. Thanks, friend. You know what I bought today? My kids, when the situation first happened and they were happy to get out of the house, they don't do it anymore. But they were happy to get out of the house and paint. They painted all these things that I sold. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, today, I made good on my promise and bought them their basketball hoop. And we'll get that installed in the next couple weeks at the farmhouse because Jamie's going in. Jamie is such an amazing shopper. She found it uh, brand new in the box, still had the uh, the tie wraps on it. For $200 less than I found it on Amazon. And I have been having a hard time even getting a hold of basketball hoops. Apparently the situation has made people want to play basketball at home. I don't know. <laughs> they're not easy to find so I'm super excited about that um, when y'all sell the deconstructed lampshades do you include the light bulb so we do in the store if we sell it online we don't we just let them know so all right next lamp oh you Donna said she just saw all the new joggers what sorry Donna I know you're the jogger queen they just Christy just got those in as well as this uh, new shirt that I'm wearing I like it I don't know if you can tell but it's got like the raised dots on it I would touch the fabric to show you, but I have paint all over me. Uh, can you pass me those two lamps that are over there by the clock, Seb? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. What oh, clock? oh, this big tall clock that oh, isn't actually a here. clock, the one that we haven't dealt with. Oh, these ones. Yeah, yeah, we got so much stuff to paint. So much stuff in an hour. We're going to have to get the heat gun out. Yeah, well, I've got... These lampshades are here drying pretty quick. So I need you to put these somewhere careful because I found out somebody was smart. They said, don't get rid of these because you'll melt the plastic um, lampshade. So mm, that's a good call. Yeah, I thought so. Now with these, I'm actually only painting 
the wood part I actually like the tarnished brass so I'm wondering I could probably cut it with this brush I'm gonna have to be a little bit neater the normal Jamie messy paint job isn't gonna do and I can also if I get a little bit on the brass I could wipe it off oh so this you're part gonna is wood in the, the middle mm -hmm. it's wood in the middle and then this part here is like a tarnished brass that I don't hate so I'm just gonna paint oops I'm playing paint and when you say you don't hate it, does that mean that you like it a little bit or No, that I think it's cool and I think that the combination okay. of the white painted turned wood middle with a tarnished brass is going to be really cool. These are kind of like the 80s uh, fake oil lamp type lamps and these were $4.99 each. So some of these lamps were free and some of them were $5 each. Were you going to use this for a different color or can I... You can do what you want. Okay. It's a free country, mostly. Mostly. Mostly, or I shouldn't have said that. Do not it's free. comment. Do not. It is free. All right. All right. Uh, I have a pretty good one, but it still leaves a few streaks. Could be me. I don't know what she's talking about. Watching the video of a farmhouse is learning experience. I love what you did to the cabinet doors. You're amazing. Thanks. You know what? I was going to actually just leave the cabinets plain, but then I was on Instagram and I saw this old like hutch and it had that similar design on it. And then I just had to have my cabinets look like that. I may regret it later because basically they're going to be crumb catchers, but I don't think it'll be too bad though. You know, worst case scenario, because scenario, worst case scenario, if I hate it, I could just take those. Take it off and fill it and repaint them. All right, let's see. I'm just looking and see if there's any questions. All right, I'm ready for a heat gun. How about you? Um, yeah, sure. Oh, Jane says she loves the Salvation Solution. She Ooh, used it yesterday. I have gone through quite a bit of that. Uh, recently, if you, if you guys don't know, the paint and products we use, you can pick up at jamierayvintage.com and we sell what's called Salvation Solution. And if you've ever had bleed through and had to use shellac, you will love Salvation Solution because it is a primer that not only primes, but also blocks bleed through. So I've been using a ton, a ton, a ton of it. I've kind of switched over to the clear because I feel like it goes a little further and you can spray it, but you gotta clean out your sprayer pretty fast. And it's thinner, so it doesn't leave streaks. And I've been using it like crazy on my cabinets, on my buffets. You can wait and just see if you have bleed through and then just spot treat it or just prime the whole thing before you get started and then spot treat anything that needs extra care. Usually two coats about does it with it. Occasionally it takes more, just like, you know, sometimes with shellac, if you have stubborn bleed through, sometimes it takes more. All right, I'm already loving these a lot better. Oh, you got that all over the brass. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to wipe mine off. Yeah, so I didn't get any on my brass. Well, I had a bigger brush. I want, Sorry. You had a big crush? Brush. Brush. All right, you can heat gun that. Will a salvation solution help mask odors? I don't know that. I have not. We have had not any. tested it on that yet. I have not had any. Oh, I was like, I thought there was a bug on me. <laughs> you get a sticker. I have not tested that. So that's ready for coat number two. Caitlin just dropped the link to the salvation solution. If you're watching the replay, I'll have Zeb drop a link to our website in the description box. So if you don't know what we're talking about, Jamie did some cabinets in yesterday's video in the kitchen, and she used Salvation Solution to prime it up just in case. They were brand new, so they didn't have any crusty food or anything like that on them. But sometimes you get bleed through from the oils and tannins in the wood, and it just helps prevent that. It keeps you from having to chase all the little stains that come through when you seal something. You can have it perfectly painted white or whatever color you're going with. Uh, white shows the worst, usually. But, and then you get spots, like oil spots come through, and the salvation solution helps prevent that. So Jasmine Smith, if it's just a picture frame, just lightly sand it and then paint it with DIY paint. It should be fine. She has a frame that she's pretty sure is painted with latex, and it's MDF, and it's just a, a frame of a mirror or something. But on decor items like that, they're not going to get a lot of heavy abuse. So just lightly sand it and then just paint it with DIY paint. You could use salvation solution if you were worried, but... 
me personally, I probably just paint it. So you guys can see the difference there already. Let me show you. We're going to do two coats on this. It covers really well, and like like you saw, I mean, it doesn't doesn't it sticks to just about everything. Jamie's painting the glass and things, so we didn't have to back. sand these or anything. But I just wanted to show you one coat. We've got a little brush strokes there, a few peekaboos, but the second coat will take care of all of that. This Here, why don't you do this right? one? Because this one you already oh, got fine. paint everywhere. You want here, and you that got the neat brush? Yeah. If you, that's why I love these French brown. It's a lot easier to be neat when you're cutting. That that one is a little less neat for detail. I mean, lines. I probably could have done it, but I'm like, eh, I'm gonna have to wipe it anyway, like, so I just went for it. Eh, I'm running on five hours of sleep, so do I really care? Probably not. <laughs> Hankton and I were at the dump at six this morning, and we took Eliza to cheer, to, uh, cheer which you got to be up at 5.30 to get her there on time. So it was an early morning, early start today. At what time did the dump actually open? We got there, and their website says 6, but they, uh, you know, revised hours they revised didn't bother hours to tell anyone about. Apparently, between the hours of 6 and 7 a.m., that's when the COVID happens. So they no longer open at 6, they open at 7. Anyway, we went and got breakfast and hung out and waited waited we rested our eyes for a few minutes <laughs> you waited you waited for the situation monster we, to we got in line and waited at the dump but if you go there it's a transfer station so if you go there and it's like saturday morning or monday morning you could literally wait behind 40 or 50 cars waiting to get in so i always try to be there very early first thing when i'm doing my dump runs well and some of the dump stuff was from the shop here we just had a bunch of debris and whatnot so all right you guys can see we've lost a lot of tree branches off this tree here two coats that's pretty much done sorry Try they were and they were just piling up back behind look so. at my farmer tan it's great from working at the farmhouse it really is a farmer tan i so. bet i got you beat you want to you want to compare, compare and contrast farmers? okay you win <laughs> i think that's just because you're wider to begin with it is that sun's getting me sunscreen we, is not keeping the tan away the farmer tan is strong. So you totally could put transfers on those plastic shades. However, if they got too hot, we I don't, don't know, know how it would stay. We don't know how the adhesion would be. It's off label use, man. Off label. But you know, you put the if you put like a uh, Edison bulb, those are they don't get super hot because yeah. they're a lower watt bulb, bulb. So you might be okay. All right, so I'm going to second coat these ones. They don't need to be heat gunned because it dried. These might take three coats because I'm painting like super shiny metal here. Okay, I'm going to dry this real fast, and then I'm going to just show you real quick with the how easy it is to wipe this off this brass. You two are so sexy. Hey, don't be jealous of our farmer tans. <laughs> We're bringing sexy back in a whole new way. I'm going to have to wear it's this. It's how you can identify me at the water park. <laughs> We don't have time for water parks, but next year. Actually, I wouldn't go to one this year. I'm, I'm sticking away from heavily populated areas. Just, you know, safe measure here. Um, today, though, we're putting up trusses. So this is my truss shirt because I'm going to fix my farmer tan. Then I'll just have my farmer tan line will just be here. <laughs> I'll be like pink right here and then not pink right there. Oh, I'm wearing a size small and I weigh about 100, 151 pounds. Oh, because I've been. Going She's to been the stress drinking Dr. Pepper again. That's actually true. I don't normally drink soda, and I have been drinking it, so that usually adds a few pounds. I haven't had any today. This is just water. So this has got a little weeble wobble in it. Um, we just use LED bulbs, no heat. Okay, so I guess if you're using an LED bulb, you probably could um go ahead and put the transfers on there. That's good to know, Tom. I might try an LED bulb in these because I really do not love those center things and see if it doesn't melt the plastic. <clears throat> I don't know why I so, have a such adversity to those center things, but I just don't love them. They probably just remind you of like an old kerosene lantern and that's not your vibe. That's that's more cabin. It's more cabin, less farmhouse. Yeah. Farmhouses probably had them too, though. I'm sure they did. Everyone had them. It was the only way to light your house for right. about 50 or 60 years. I mean, they use <laughs> candles, but... Oh, Caitlin. She's talking about Spencer. Spencer is her little boy. Um, oh, super chat from Jane Brown. That's you, going Jane. in my hot tub fund, Zeb. That's a good amount. I actually, we have a local hot tub company, 
and uh, we d they're on Main St or State Street here in Lehigh, and we're gonna buy our. Well, hot we were tub looking all over. I'm like, hey, there's that little mom and pop the hot tub place right there on State Street. Let's go support local. I love supporting local. I was like, oh, that makes me feel like I'm doing something good, and I'm getting a hot tub. That's what buying local does. So Jane, that's going in the hot tub fund. All right, I digress. Spencer, my nephew, Caitlin says that he was wearing a muscle shirt. Spencer sticks. He's super cute. And he had the same thing. He just <laughs> burned the top part of his arm from his farmer tan. <laughs> Caitlin has two boys, <laughs> and they're like a year apart. <laughs> they were nearly... and they're funny. They're funny to me because they're not mine. <laughs> they were nearly Irish twins. <laughs> yeah, I have two boys three years apart that are basically the same bash brothers. When all four of those boys get together, it is quite the situation at our house. We have fun together. I love my nephews. They came over for July 4th. They were better behaved than my own children, that's for sure. That's why Caitlin has a text-only phone, in case you ever wondered. She cannot talk to you over the phone because you never know if boys are going to scream in the background. But she does text you when she's hiding in the bathroom from them. I do the same thing. <laughs> if you get a message from me, I'm probably hiding somewhere away from children. All right, so we got that dry. Oops, I missed a whole spot right here. All right. This is going to probably need three coats because it's real shiny. So since, it's looking good. So since this was so fresh and no, not cured or anything, it was like dried with a heat gun two minutes ago. That came right off. No big deal. Um, if you let it sit and cure, it does harden up. It's clay-based, the DIY paint is, so it will be harder to wet the stress off. Um, and then if you seal it, it's no longer water-soluble, and that stuff's stuck on there, so... Kaylin says that's because I only have two kids to contain. Yes, that's true. That's why my kids are crazier, because I have five. I feel like the oldest one, the one that you see all the heavy lifting muscle, he probably gives me the most run for my money, even at almost 18. Are we we're wet distressing these, right? Yeah. Okay, because I went for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I would maybe even use sandpaper on those, because they're wood, but oh, I don't no, know if we have any. It's going real good. As long as the wet distress looks good. Sometimes wet distress, I feel like, looks more natural than sandpaper. I'm just hitting the high spots kind of light. For sure, these will be wet distress. I, we might need to um, use sandpaper on this middle part just to smooth out the brush strokes. Okay. But on metal, like on these parts, you definitely don't want to use sandpaper because it'll get all weird. So just real light, kind of hit the edges. Tried to make it look random. No pattern or rhyme or reason Your to it. Your random distress is on point, man. It's, it's getting better. I was talking to Jamie's sister, Deborah. She's very got a very organized kind of brain. And I'm not necessarily organized, but yeah, I, I line things up um and i have a hard time with random and we were talking about how we couldn't even do random if we just closed our eyes and did it because we knew where we were putting stuff so we My would like balance it out better well we were just having the conversation like it was hard even even with our eyes closed my sister gets an eye twitch from like if she goes into my pantry so i'm like it's good enough if you organize your skittles or m&ms into color we can be friends. I have done that and I am not. I will eat person. them. I will, I will get like, I'm like, okay, I got five greens and six blues and seven reds. I will eat them until I have five of all the numbers and then I will eat one from each pile. Do you know how I eat Skittles? <laughs> Handful at a time. Just like that. <laughs> I used to organize my sweet charts into patterns, not into my, just, I actually designed them into patterns. Is this dry? This needs a little heat gun. Okay, I think this one is pretty well painted. This is probably gonna be the third coat. We're gonna put this down here. Jane says she does that. And Crescent Moon says LOL. Crescent Moon, we were watching the newest uh, Enterprise. Jane, that's the only way to eat colored candy. All right, this needs heat gun. Oh, you guys, make sure to hit, get the thumbs up. That's what Kai said. Thank you, Kai. Elaine says she saves the orange M&Ms for last. Nice. All right, can I have that heat gun over here, sweetie? Yep. Oh, the weathered wood lamp. It's gonna need tightened up, I think, a little more. Robert's dog keeps jumping on the bed so she can see us better on the chest. <laughs> glass is always precarious because it tends to pull off so you do need to be careful when you put that second yep. price tags are everywhere today well i just kind of i ripped them off and was just flinging 
funny story. If you guys look under the lip of this table, there's DI price tags. We just all stick them on the lip. When I start <laughs> to paint my projects, I peel the price tags off and stick them to the table. They just go right down there on that skirt. If you add them all together, it's probably like 200 thrift store dollars. So the real challenge is to be, even though this is kind of random, for me is to be, uh, to not make this look like that one, exactly. <laughs> I missed an entire spot right here. Oh, you didn't paint up here either. I got a better. I did what? No, I didn't. I didn't paint any of the brass. Are you hey, proud I'm, of me that I'm I was neat? It. I am. Because that's like not in my nature to be neat. I can be. I can't be neat. It's like you graduated from kindergarten to first grade. That's right. Next, that's next level painting right Staying there. Staying in the lines. I always joke about, if you ever watch our videos and you're like, why does she keep saying next level carpentry? It comes from Zeb. Zeb always tells me that I'm moving up in levels. <laughs> it, maybe it comes from years and years of like video gaming. Hey, you got like, That's the up. boss at the end of the level. You just got plus 37 to your carpentry stats. Oh my goodness. If you guys don't video game, you will not know what that is. And that's okay. So second coat is covering this pretty good. Just don't don't push too hard and don't overwork the paint. Like once you brush an area when you're painting glass, do not come back. Just let it dry. If you mess up, you can fix it later. I figure this is a good waste on Wednesday because last week somebody complained that they they were tired of watching us do stuff with construction stuff, and I was like, listen, Linda. I am a little bit busy, so my waste on Wednesday is whatever I have on hand, and I thought, okay, well, this week I'll be good, and I will do uh, something that maybe everybody has, which is an ugly lamp. I don't even know if she ever commented back. She didn't. I don't think she did. Last week, we were on our way, or as soon as we were done live, we went and drove down to Arizona to pick up my parents. My dad was not in great health. And so it was a little bit stressful. My other sister was like, I can't believe you made it through that live. I'm like, it's because I'm that good. <laughs> no, it's just because I really enjoy it. Good stress relief to paint. All right. Mary says she never gets tired of construction projects made out of our construction crap. Well, we've got a few more coming up because we've got lots of leftover stuff. Don't you worry. We got construction stuff for days. In fact, I'm giving away scrap ends of shiplap here locally. Because sometimes you just have more than you could actually do. Well, and you know, we're like, oh, let's save those because we got a project for them. And they might be one of those things that we still have in the yard three years from now and they'll be ruined from the weather. I like. I feel like that distressing is perfect. It looks almost chippy. Okay, because I'm going to beeswax it. You weren't, were you doing anything else to these? Nope, just that. And then we need to clean off the uh, brass really good. Yeah. Those are cute. Good job. Okay, I'll, I'll give you guys a close-up of them. Well, we can show you now before I do the waxing. They look almost like a turned candlestick. That's what so I So this thinking. beeswax is a Sweet Pickens product. Whoa! Over the can I need to it's, fix. If you guys could see my studio, it's full of junk. I have one of my girls that doesn't normally work on Wednesdays is coming in today to help me. And it goes on clear. And it smells amazing. I don't know if that's just... Can you smell it all the way through the... Thing? Here, give it a good sniff. smell a vision sniff smell of vision Okay. I'm going to... And some of the paint is pulling off a little bit when I do the second coat because this is so shiny. But it's all right. Where's that heat gun, sweetie? Oh. oh, I got it over here on the end of the table. Oh! oh! Well, now it's almost on the floor. The light bulb didn't break, though. It's okay. We're using the Edison ones. I don't think that one was even working. All right, so when this wax cures up, it will be nice and wipeable. You don't want to like scrub it super crazy, but give it 30 days and you can wipe Who's this down. Who's scrubbing their lamps? You know, some people that organize their Skittles, they got to scrub lamps They also too. scrub lamps. Well, the nice thing about wax furniture is if it ever gets messed up, you can always... Just ignore it. I can't walk by over there. It's like this much space between That actually stuff. is yours that you just dropped, by the way, not mine. I know. Um, anyways, what was I saying? You were talking about Oh, if you have a top that gets a little messed up, if it's liquid sealed, you have to sand it, all that jazz. With wax, I generally just put more wax on it and buff it, and usually I can buff out imperfections. That's why I like wax. Why beeswax? 
because that's what we have handy. You can use beeswax or DIY clear wax. They're either. both like a real soft, creamy, clear wax. This is a little bit softer. The beeswax takes longer to cure up. Yeah. But other than that, they're pretty much interchangeable. And you can use sweet pickens wax on DIY and DIY wax on sweet pickens. You don't need to buy both. We've just been using it because we've been had a little bit of a shortage of DIY, but we, you guys, are getting all kinds of caught up on DIY paint orders. They're getting caught up. We're getting caught up. It's such a great thing. It helps us sleep better at night. Helps Caitlin sleep better at night. She likes things to get out. Oh, so I this is what you're looking for. Here, yeah, I'll show you the label. If you need to read it, on the replay, pause here. Can you Brianna read says she scrubs lamps. All right, well, Brianna, no scrubbing these lamps for 30 days. It won't days focus. From. It won't focus. Sorry, guys. It's all natural. All natural, but that doesn't mean you can eat it, guys. No, you, you don't probably eat wouldn't wax. die. You don't want to eat wax. Oh, I'm almost out of white wax. It's okay, Sandy. We have white wax. There's not like a. There we go. It's not like the toilet paper at the beginning of the situation. We have white wax. Okay, I'm gonna assemble just been, these. There's just a few things that have been more popular than normal, and so we keep about a three-week supply, and they were about a month out. So there's just a few things that some orders took a little longer. Most orders get out quick because I have lots of people that ship for me. Like last night, they shipped out every possible order they could that wasn't waiting on paint to come in, but we have more paint coming tomorrow. So excited. We get so happy when the UPS man drops off our paint. He may not be thrilled tomorrow because I have like a ton of boxes coming from one of my uh, wholesalers plus the paint. So there's probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 or 20 boxes of stuff coming from UPS tomorrow. Usually when that happens, that he comes early because he wants it out of the truck. Okay, so that is loose. Let me tighten. Would it this. make a good lip balm, <laughs> Carol? Jamie has used, used it. it. She but... might. She might be referencing that. Jamie's used it as lip balm on a video. I'm not saying you should. Okay. I can't. I can neither confirm nor deny whether or not you should be doing that. So this is a little loose, and I don't know why. I'll have to fix that. I might have to do some more Can you use the beeswax for furniture polish? Yes, you could. It actually works really well for furniture polish. Like a salve for dry furniture, for sure. It would work great for that. Okay. Also, you can use it on, like, uh, drawers where the runs are sticky. Beeswax works good on that. Okay. Here, let me turn it on so you can I'm see what it looks like. <laughs> it still might be pretty bright on camera. But, oh, yeah. well, that you don't have to because we're going to put the yeah, this one sheet has on. the sheet, but I just want to. Oh, that's cool. There it is. Okay, so that's still a little bright, but here in the room, it's not like it's not going to blind me like a regular light bulb would. Jan says it's her dust day. That's funny. Don't come to my house, Jan. Or maybe do. Or, yeah, or maybe do if you would like to dust. I dust when I redecorate. I get the dust off. Okay, so there's that lamp. All right, do we have a damp paper towel that I can wet this dress this with that does not have white paint on it? I'm gonna go rinse that one because I don't think we've got, I had to search for that one that I'm using. A damp paper towel would work too. Okay. We don't recommend using a heat gun. We use it on live videos so you guys don't have to be live with us for two hours. If you do use a heat gun, it can make it bubble, move it fast. And if it's got latex underneath, it most definitely will bubble, so I don't suggest it in that kind of a situation. Because when plastic gets hot, it bubbles, and latex is like liquid plastic. So it still looks a little bit like poop, but the magic is going to happen here pretty soon, I promise. Chris says she only does twice a year, which is when she has a big party. Chris, you and I are very similar in so many ways. 
All right, so. I guess we get a few spots where it was streaky. Are those other lamps ready for a wetness press? Uh, probably. Do you want me to hand them to you? Or, or some heat gunning? Yeah, that's fine. Um, also, you will have to wipe off the cords and the black parts. Got a little bit of paint it on It needs them. some heat gunning for sure. Ooh, Kaylin says that brayers and the little DIY sampler brushes are back in stock. Oh man, this is barely going to fit down in here. This harp is not very tall. But once you screw it in, it fits. Let me uh, let me raise that up so I can show you. When you say raise it up, it reminds me of that song. You raise me up. You know, who sings that? I don't know. I don't know, some guy. Is it a guy? I think he was from uh, one of those TV shows like America's Got Talent. I don't pay attention enough to pop culture. Alright. Alright, so this is gonna I'm gonna let this cool down before I wax it so the wax doesn't melt. But the magic is going to happen very sh Josh Groban. He sings much better than I do. Here's your tippy top things. Oh. My toppers. Okay. Kimberly Drake made the live today. Hello, Kimberly Drake. Deborah says, don't move anything you don't need to dust. If my tip, the tip for the day is if there's dust on your ceiling fan, turn it on. You can't see it. You're welcome. <laughs> well, in the summertime, I don't turn fans on. I love to feel the air moving, so I don't, or not, I don't not turn them on. I don't turn fans off. Donna says, I dust about once a month, but then I get distracted and start rearranging. I redecorate quite often, but I do have to say that the items that are on top of my kitchen cabinets have not been dusted since I painted them almost three years ago. It's been like two and a half years, so. Did you take my wet distress rag? Oh yeah, and the beeswax now comes in two ounce sample sizes, so you don't have to like make a marriage commitment to it. Shelly says better late than never. Okay, um, the white wax. Hey, Julia. I really just got back from cheer. Um, once you get cooled off and get a drink, there's stuff to paint on the back porch, and I have a brush back there and a uh, screwdriver so you can open the can. You can just throw all your stuff. Just throw your stuff somewhere. Just add it to the piles. One of my dear friends uh, lives across the street from the shop, and her daughter cheers with Odelia. So on Wednesdays, when they get done at 10.30, she brings them back. Did you see where the rag I was wet? Elaine says ceiling doing? fans do not have an off button in Houston. The rag? It's true. I don't know, but I need that white wax over there. My sister lives in the Houston area, and man, you got to keep that air moving. Okay, so I need my... I got you your damn paper towel over there. Where'd my rag go that I was using the wet distress? Caitlin loves that her new house has ceiling fans. Caitlin is like her dad, does not like to be hot. Hey, dusting isn't bad if I have your live in one hand and a duster in the other. Perfect. I do it fully intend to, once the farmhouse is finished and we're no longer making a mortgage and a rent payment, the cleaning ladies are coming back in town because I work about 80 hours a week and I would rather work than clean. So my kids are excited. Odilia just smiled when I told her the cleaning ladies were coming back. <laughs> Jamie, can you take a picture of the top of your kitchen cabinets as I want to see what it looks like, like the dust or the decor? If you want a picture of the top... Maybe we'll do a like final home tour of the house we live in before we move out. At least the main area. You don't want to see the bedrooms. They're not clean. We don't have any ceiling fans in the old farmhouse. And I told Deb, I'm like, yeah, we might be adding one. I just, I don't know what I want to put in there yet. Okay, sorry. I'm just wiping paint off of my hands. Okay. Juicing. All right. Had to go find a different rag because I couldn't find the one I was using. Did you swipe it off? Oh, what I said it underneath these globes. It's like all, I was looking all over for it. I'm sorry. It's right underneath these globes. All right, so I'm going to start white waxing this. Do we have a paper towel that is um, dry or uh, not wet? Down there, there is one. Yep. So I'm just going to do this in sections. It is still a little hot because it is melting the wax. Do you guys see the detail coming out in this? Magic is happening right here before your eyes. Oh, I need to come show them close what you're doing. Yeah, they can look in a minute. Hold on. I gotta... So I'm slowly 
making this look like a thousand times better. I like to work in sections so that way I can wipe the wax off. And it is going to look a little bit different because it's the wax is kind of melting into the paint, but you guys get the idea. Since this is going to be exposed, I will let distress that harp just a little bit. I haven't ever painted a lamp like this before, but I have painted cut glass. So I had a little bit of an idea. Well, oh, that's turning out really like. good. Yeah. And look at that DIY paint sticking to the glass like a champ. It's very fresh. I am getting a little bit of the um, brass coming through, like a little distress, which I'm okay with. If you were worried about that and you don't want anything chipping off, I would do three coats, let it dry overnight, then white wax it. And lightly, even then, lightly wax. Even then it might come off a little bit because it takes 30 days to cure completely. Well, and glass is like probably one of the slickest surfaces you're going to yeah. paint. Yes, sir. You don't want to sand your glass before you do it. <laughs> but that's not going to help it. Sanding glass I don't think does anything. I guess you could maybe prime it. That's okay. It's going to look great. Um, can, Renee said she likes it. The heat? I don't know. Renee lives in Utah. Renee does like the heat. Re Renee, it'll be like 60 degrees up in Prescott where your parents are from, and it, she'll, she'll have like a full-blown winter parka on. Well, it's because she's from Yuma. Weather is It relative. was 60. You know, it's going to it's be like 99 today. When we're hanging those trusses but it's, it was 60 degrees this morning when we were at the dump it was it's great it's so hot my full-time job is assisting zeb when he needs it oh good the trash guy is finally coming sorry good distraction um and then also keeping him hydrated how many times do i bring you drinks throughout the day i'm like drink this pretty much as much as quick yesterday as quick as you could get up and down the stairs with the drinks she, she had like rotating stuff in the freezer keeping it cold it's a good wife. That's what I do. And then when he needs help, I'm there to help him. That's why the, it was the, awesome. The girls at the shop have been amazing. Um, we are actually taking two weeks off the end of this month. Not really off, but like we're just cutting back on all the extra stuff that we do. And uh, the shop gals have been amazing to step up. So when you see us on Waste Not Wednesday or you see us on our Thursday lives, Everything will have been prepped by the gals that work for us because we are full speed ahead. What Odelia is doing right now, painting on the back porch, will be seen in tomorrow's video for the Stay at Home Shopping Network. Yep, she's getting things ready. I am like drowning in junk because I've been working at the farmhouse and not processing my stuff as fast as I should. So this is cool because it is distressing a little bit of that glass coming through. And I really like it. All right. Skeleton shade. So yeah, this is weathered wood and white wax, um, and it really gives you like an old stone effect on glass. And I'm getting a little bit of distress happening because the wax is uh, warm and the paint is fresh. So I don't even have to distress it. I'm just letting it do its thing while I buff it, and I am loving this. All right, do we have a heart so we can show them this with a skeleton? I, let me steal one from, just steal one from that lamp you just painted. The one that's down there that's tall like this, swipe it. What do you want me to do? Swipe the harp from that one. Oh. Because we do have a skeleton shade. But this one is um, painted oh, white. You. Yeah. It's going to look a little weird. It's fine. I'll go, see, I'll go see if I can find one down in the basement real quick. All right. I'm still working on this. I'm just distressing I'll show, this topper I'll here. show them up close. And this is a sealer too, so I'm not going to have to like... I might come back with some clear wax once this white wax is all cured. Okay, so you guys get the full effect with the Edison bulb. Let me plug this in. All right. Oh, you can't see. Oh, that looks cute. And I, lo I have a love that we have a pair of those because we actually had a pair almost identical to this, huh? And it sold about a month ago, which is when I bought these, and I have not had time to paint them. So I love putting a pair of lamps in the shop. The camera makes it look much brighter than it is. The bulb is not obtrusive at all. Well, put an incandescent bulb in this, and let's show them the difference. So this is the one I just finished, and we'll show it to you up close in a minute. I'm just see if this one works. finishing my buffing. Yeah. 
Oh, this one's older. It's got an older style plug. Yeah, no, this is definitely a vintage cut glass lamp. Okay. That's yeah. what I was worried about, that bulb. That bulb broke when I dropped it. Well, you guys are just going to have to pretend like... Yeah, that one's bro broken All too. Right. I've wiped off most of this, and what I'll do is I'll let it sit, and then tomorrow I will buff it to a little bit more of a sheen once it's cured more. But I like to wipe back the white wax. So... Because if you let that white wax sit, it's almost nearly impossible to... have these hearts. I was thinking this one would be kind of cool on that. On this one? Yeah. I don't know even how you would I don't even know how you put that. What one about on. the oval one? I do love me the oval one. The oval one, one looks cool. good with it. We just too. need to get a heart. Okay, okay, I'm gonna run downstairs. You be entertaining while I'm gone. Do, 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 do. I don't know what you want. Dance? What kind of I'll just show you guys this up close. How about that? Alright, so this is the up close weathered wood and white wax over the glass. Is that not like 40,000 times better than grandma's crystal lamp? I mean, unless you're grandma and you love it, which is okay. There's no judge. If you love it the way it is, then you don't even have to paint it. Bonus. So don't pass over those cut glass old lamps. You can paint glass with DIY. It looks wooden now. It does. It looks like carved. Although in real life, there's a little bit of chippy paint, so you can kind of see the shiny glass underneath, and it is way cool. I found <gasps> one that almost matches Gosh, the brass patina. I love patina. you so much. You make me so happy, Zebra, when you find all the right junk. You're the one that's hoarding it. Leslie, I'm the one that's hoarding it. See, this is why you're a junk hoarder. Be like, oh, we need this. Oh, we got that. My, and so now this lamp with the harp, this will sell for about seventy dollars in the shop, between seventy and eight dollars. Okay, give me this bulb. Okay, I, I have show. another one. We, made, we just made over like five lamps in. Oh, you found my bulb box. Yep. So maybe I will, since we have the boxes for these, I'll ship these if I sell them online. They can have the light bulb. It's going to be a, if it makes it, you get it. And if it doesn't make it, I'm not shipping a new one. <laughs> so it's not technically included, but I'll throw it in there just in case it can make it. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. Let's grab the other one of these so they can kind of see what they would look like together. Oh, we still have like five minutes. Have you want to wet distress this one so they can see that pair? Yep. And, it's like, and this is the shade. Here, scooch that down your way. Hold on. And we'll show them those other two lamps. We'll show them all the lamps the, together. We'll get here's them. the heart. See if we can get them turned on. And dropping wax brushes. This one still needs wax. It says we're very that. blurry. You know what? If we're blurry, Deborah, hop in and out because I have it replaying on my phone and it's not blurry on my end. So it might be your internet connection. Oh, Janine says turning glass lamps into mercury glass with a mirror spray looks cool too. Oh, that's a good I idea. I don't doubt it. I have used mercury spray and the IOD molds and whatnot. So I felt like this is a good waste on Wednesday. If you guys have some old lamps, I'm going to go over the paint colors we used. So this is weathered wood and white wax. These are just white swan with clear wax and same thing, white swan and clear wax. Yeah. You could clear wax these, and if you wanted to be even more awesome, you could put some decrepit dust in all the details. Oh, that I would give them a lot of age. I don't think I would do that on those lamps there. The wood ones. But these ones, I feel like some decrepit dust, I may get those. If I get time, they may get decrepit dusted before tomorrow's live. Christy loves it when I sell lamps, because when she ships them, it's real fun to try to figure out how to ship the lamp and the shade. Yeah, the box origami is getting real creative around here. A Purple Lily says, I thought you were taking a two-week vacation. So we'll still be making all of our regular videos. They might just get real interesting. Um, but we're taking two weeks off from business coaching and from channel membership, but just the end of the month. Because so, we take one week off a quarter, and we didn't take our week off in the spring. So we're taking spring and summer together. Really, it's not vacation. We're going to do it. <laughs> it's a workcation at home. It's a stay workcation all in one. Yes, we're just cutting back on stuff. I always look for lamps at thrift stores. You get form and function. Yep, they can make a room beautiful and light it up all in one, one uh, situation. And again, if you guys are doing skeleton shades like this, 
make sure you're using the Edison bulbs because an incandescent would definitely, or a like an LED that's not too obtrusive. And if you happen to accidentally get paint on this part, you can just wipe that off, just don't wax it. I'm gonna leave these, because they, just so they can kind of see, because yeah. they can see it better like that. And then I'll come close, and we'll do a, we'll do a fly We'll do by. a panorama. Yep. What do you use to do a raised stencil? So I put salt wash in my paint. We sell that at jamierayvintage.com. Salt wash works amazing to do raised stencils. You it just stir better. in your paint and then then your raised stencil has a color. And so when you wet distress down to it, it's not like just a spackle, which is what I used to use. The salt wash is amazing. Yeah, it's technique. way better and easier to use than the spackle was. Oops. Purple Lily says, so glad. Love you, love you, love you. Is that spamming? It's not spamming. <laughs> you must have watched our business coaching yesterday. We talked about spammy emails. Renee says, I have LED Edison bulbs. Those work great. I actually have those in my chandelier at home. I am so glad that we got this stuff done. Like five lamps out of my studio. They take up a lot of room and you got to be careful walking around them because they're fragile and you know all the things if you're just tuning in these lamps are going to be available tomorrow for our stay at home shopping network which is at jamierayvintagehome.com but you can check out the website anytime there's always lots of good stuff and we sell clothes at jamie ray vintage home and it's always free shipping so and tons you, of new stuff just got put up are you going to do the different bulbs in here so that we don't have to do the bulbs? um the led bulbs I don't know. I mean, you know what? I'm thinking I'll just sell them with the hurricane. The end hurricane. user can decide. The, yeah, the end user can decide if they love them like that or if they love them with um, without the glass. All right, guys, we're going to go flying here in just a sec. I'm going to move the camera around and we'll do a pan of all these lamps. I'm also going to clean the tarnished brass. It's a little dusty. It's a little dusty. Oh, I Eileen says the lamps look so good. And yeah, so our stay at home shopping network will be on time tomorrow because. I have everybody helping me today, so we'll be 4 p.m. Mountain Time tomorrow, and we will be showing all the things. Oh, Jana, give uh, Debbie a Corona 5 for me. She's on her way to uh, Solana Beach. Tell her I said hi, it's Debbie. All right. all right, five lamps in one hour. I feel like that's record timing. Just need a little bit of um, touch-up wax and some cleanup. We've got some rogue paint where they don't go. They turned out awesome. Jane says, bye bye, drink lots of water and be safe. And uh, Kai says, wow, got a lot done. So we may just be selling just lampshades tomorrow too because I do have a bag of lampshades. So if you need a skeleton shade for your lamp, this we one's will my have favorite. offerings. Yeah, like this balloon one, that'll be on sale tomorrow. If you can't hardly wait for these lamps, you can just email info at jamierayvintagehome.com. Tell Caitlin, which one or ones you're interested in, and we can get those to you before we list them. Mary says, the glass lamp looks better than I expected. I know, I told you it looked like poop, but it was gonna look real good, I promise. Right. Also guys, if you have cut glass pieces, then you're, you're tired of the old glass look, you can do the same technique on your vases and decor items. Just be patient because glass is really slick, but you can get a really great finish with a DIY paint. Yeah, Shelly, these can be shipped. Um, we shipped a lamp, a very detailed lamp with porcelain pieces on it a couple of weeks ago. So email info Shipping at wizards Ray, over here. Yeah, info at jamierayvintagehome.com. Just to give you an idea on pricing, this one would be about $79.95 for this lamp. Um, and I think shipping is around $22 for that price range, but... Um, it does require a lot of extra packaging. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. Don't overestimate the old lamps. Waste not, want not. Hit up jamierayvintage.com if you need some magic paint. jamierayvintagehome.com for clothes and decor. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Hey, okay, guys. <laughs> thanks for joining us. We will see you Twin Thing says she's going to have to watch the replay because she hates cut glass, but she loves this look.